Prudence! It's been forever since I last made a makeup tutorial and I wanted to share this fun makeup look with you. It's a 60s inspired pastel look and it's a collaboration with Gloss Gods Cosmetics and Richie Hair. I created this look at the Gloss Gods headquarters for a photo shoot so all the makeup I've used is from Gloss Gods so you should check that out and the pastel parts on my hairs are actually Richie stickies that can easily be custom colored and applied for a fun look without dyeing your own hair. So my base is pretty much already done, um, so I'm moving on to prime my eyelids where I will be putting eyeshadow and so I'm going to apply different colored shadows on that we will meet together. <laughs> I apply a light turquoise eyeshadow on the inner part of my crease and I create a nice blend. Some of these shadows also have a bit of shimmer so I think it will add nicely to the look. Then I'm applying this light purple shade on the outer part of my lower lash line and this one is a lot shimmer. A lot shimmery <laughs> and I'm also using a pop of yellow and apply to the eyelid which will then meet with the turquoise. Now this is a warmed toned blusher slash highlighter uh, that I apply to the inner corner of my eyes to fade the yellow to a shimmery orange shade. I'm then using a pink blush that I leave on the outer corners of my eyelid and I feather the pink to make it more like dragged out to the sides of my eyes if you get what I mean. And here's an advice when using colors that are totally different from the one next to it. Be careful to blend those together since it could create an entirely different shade when mixed. And sometimes even become brown uh, when maybe that wasn't your intention. For instance, if you crash yellow with blue, the edge between them will turn green. And if you want a clean transition, either use the colors in between, like green and turquoise, for a seamless blend transition. Or if you want yellow and blue to meet um, and not blend, be sure to gently press the colors onto the surface right next to one another instead of using circled brush motions so they don't mix together and become green. I then use a pink highlighter blush and apply generously over my cheeks. That will look really good in this photo shoot. Now I'm creating a black graphic liner that will go across the crease, kind of like what supermodel Twiggy used to wear in the 60s. I have a small amount of hooded eyes, so I'm applying the liner just above my actual crease as I'm looking forward. That way it will still be visible when I'm looking. I also connect that eyeliner on my lower lash line and then apply a white pencil on the waterline for bigger, bigger dull looking eyes. Full eyelashes and falsies were a thing back in the 60s so I apply lots of mascara although I did skip falsies on my top lashes this time just because my eyes tend to disappear in the photo shoots if I wear any. I do apply small pieces of cut off falsies on the lower lash line inspired by the iconic Twiggy. To my lips I'm actually applying blush, the same pink color I used wearing on my eyes and then the pink highlighter on top of it. And that's it of the makeup tutorial. I hope you had fun or learned something when working in a studio. Uh, here we have Ronia styling my hair. It is so cool looking at how fidgety you have to be uh, to make the hair look this cool in pictures. I'm barely allowed to move because I'll ruin everything. And like I mentioned earlier, this photo shoot was for the collaboration that Gloss God Salon has together with Richie Hair. So basically it's for showing off their extensions and how you can have your hair in colorful shades without dyeing your own hair. 
Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!